Hi friend, in this video we are going to learn the minimization of finite state machine. Before the minimization we have to know that whether the state are equivalent or not. So here you can see the def uh, definition, what is the meaning of the state equivalent. Suppose it is saying the two state like S i or S j of machine M are said to be the equivalent if and only if for every possible input sequence the same output sequence is produced regardless of si or sj is the final state so what is the meaning of this one you can come here suppose i have taken the two state si or sj same input i have applied you can see here it is zero same 101 one, suppose 101 one. what it is saying that if and only if for every possible input sequence the same output sequence is produced so if i apply suppose 1 0 1 suppose first one what is getting i am output as the 0 second 0 if i apply i am getting output as a 1 again this one i am i am applying what i am getting as a output as the 2 if this will be applied here sequence of the input these two state are equivalent if and only if for this same sequence they will produce the same output there you can see if one i can apply sj it produce the zero if i apply s uh, one at the a side same produce the zero for the zero it produce the one they were for the zero they are producing the one for the one they are producing the two so it is saying that the every possible input sequence the same output sequence will be produced then the state are equivalent we can see in this figure a or b what i can say that in case of a or b i am applying the suppose what is the input sequence 0 and 1 only two input sequence are there if i applying the 0 there what i am getting i am getting the 0 here again for the b i am getting the 0 so output sequence is the same here for the input sequence 0 but here you can see that if I applying 1 here, I am getting 1 in this part and 0 in the this part. Forget about the state. Here it is saying only about the every possible input sequence, it is producing the same output sequence. It is not depends on any state there. It is saying that what is the output for the input will matter only that part. Okay, so I can say that A and B are the not equivalent because for 0 it is a all light same output sequence but for 1 it is 1 it is a 0 so both are not the your equivalent state but if, but if I consider the A or C 0 0 1 1 so they are the equivalent so in this way we can say that which state are equivalent and which state is not equivalent now see the figure here how we can minimize the given finite state machine for P0, I can say all state, whatever the states are there, that are the in part of the P0. Okay. Now P1, how I can get the value of P1? P1 means same. We have to check that which one is the your equivalent state and which one is the not the equivalent. So here I already checked that A and C are the equivalent because for 0, same output sequence. For the 1, same output sequence. Now you can see here. For the A, I am getting the 1 as the output sequence. So, we have to check where the 1 is there. 1 is here. So, I can say that E is also the same with the this part. Because A or E, for 1 output is 1, for 0 output 0. So, you, here you can see that A, C, E belongs to one category, one category. Because they are, for every possible the input sequence, they produce the same output sequence. Similarly, B, D, F. You can take B or D. 0 0 for 0 0 0 for 1 so output sequence are the same here so b d e will be the your part of the same group and a c is the part of the same group now p2 how we can calculate the p2 we can see that we have to check whether a or c are the equivalent or not you have to So here we have to check. Now for P2 we have to check this state whether the 
whatever the value of a or c now here we have going for the checking the state there here what we have done we are checking the output sequence based on that we have designed the equivalent pairs equivalent now in this case we have to check the a or c and we have to check whether the a or c belongs to same set or not now go for a or c a or c e is there e means the single so it always be the part of the this one keep in mind that for p2 we are comparing about the p1 there okay we are checking the this state of the p1 so for ac we can say that the we are getting the e there so e belong to same set here no problem and also for one what we are getting d or b d or b belongs to same set so no problem for a or c now check for a or e e there c there ec ec belongs to same set of p1 so no problem e there similarly for the d or f d or f belongs to same set here because you are going for p2 so you have to check about the p1 so no problem there now bd we can say same thing f f single set no problem there d or b d or b belongs to same set here then no problem now b or f b is the f and e is the b f b f b belongs to same set no problem now c d c belong here d belong to that so difference is there one part is belong here one part is so it is not equivalent with the b now the separate state will be there now come for p3 again in p3 we have to consider about the p2 now check about the p2 a or c if you check that it will be produce the a or c e is there so obviously equivalent for the zero d or b whether the d or b here same set so there is no problem between a or c now a or e e or c we are getting e or c belongs to the same set no problem but here d and f now earlier d and f f belongs to this part and the, sorry uh, d belongs to this part and f belongs to so different set are there so e are not equivalent with the a so i can go for the other state similarly if you check for the bd you will find the same state and if it's a single there is no need to check it okay check the bd f the same or db db belongs to the same set no problem so there is no changes f is same now if you go for the p4 i can get the same thing so if p3 equivalent the p4 i can stop and i can say these are the your minimized state i can give the this name alpha beta gamma and delta and similar process by writing the name of this one i can find the state here so thank you so this is the minimization of the finite state maintain so after your task is that whatever the alpha beta gamma delta we have written as you do the done the minimization of the earlier automata in that in this way we can uh, complete this one write the alpha beta gamma there alpha beta gamma and based on that we have to check alpha beta mean ac ac means e e belongs to where beta so by taking the zero it will go to the beta in this way you have to design the one state minimize state so your task will be complete now if i give the name of this one is alpha beta gamma delta so how we can design the state alpha means what a or c so a or c means i can write the alpha beta gamma a or c what is the state e e means what beta so i can write the beta what is the output for this is zero i can write the zero for the zero input similarly after the uh, a taking one it is going to the d taking one it is going b to so db means what you can say gamma i can write gamma what is the output of this one one i can write. similarly i can write all the state for the remaining one so your minimization will be complete thank you everybody